Hi, I'm Fernando Moya. I'm a neonatologist that practices at the Betty Cameron Women's and Children's Hospitals NICU in Wilmington, North Carolina. And today in this clinical pearl, I want to discuss the use of colostrum in neonates while they're staying in the neonatal intensive care unit. Colostrum is very rich in a variety of nutrients like oligosaccharides, but also some immune components, immune proteins such as lactoferrin, cytokines, and other immune modulators. Their concentration can vary quite a bit from day to day, and in fact, it depends very much on maternal diet, for instance, which can modify many of these components, especially things like long-chain polyunsaturated fatty acids. Moreover, things like maternal smoking can modify what's found in colostrum. In the process of holder pasteurization, that is relatively rapid pasteurization, can also modify that. It's been well known that administration of colostrum is of benefit to babies, and it is increasingly being demonstrated that it is of benefit to preterm infants as well. Many of the studies have administered colostrum intrally, that is, as a nutrient often bypassing the oral cavity. Among the positive effects is those infants tend to tolerate feedings better and seem to be protected against infections and potentially also decreasing the incidence of necrotizing enterocolitis. What's really new and important is now increasingly people are administering colostrum orally as part of oral care. What we know is that the administration of oral colostrum can benefit the infant in many ways. First, it's possible that some of their content, some of its content, like oligosaccharides, can populate receptors in the oropharyngeal cavity and prevent from bacterial attachment. In addition, it clearly some of the proteins found, especially immune modulators and protectors in colostrum, can be absorbed directly through the oropharyngeal mucosa. Data so far shows that there may be benefit in terms of potentially reducing ventilator-associated pneumonias in babies and other sorts of infection. A recent study at Duke University published within the last two or three months looked retrospectively at before they used oral colostrum to a latter no, time when they use oral colostrum more or less as their standard of care. They showed that waking you know, was better among those symptoms in the latter time when they received oral colostrum. There's also data from Rodriguez et al. from Chicago where they've looked in a small controlled trial at what happens with excretion of proteins that are found in abundant amounts within colostrum with the question of can they be absorbed or not if administered orally and how can you identify this. This also has demonstrated or at least suggested that the amounts of proteins like lactoferrin in the urine of those infants that receive the colostrum orally in the oropharyngeal mucosa went up, suggesting that this is a site of absorption. However, the practice is being uh, increasingly adopted, but we lack a large enough randomized control trial to prove definitively its efficacy. So I look forward to seeing this type of evidence in the near future to further substantiate that we should be investing time and standardizing the administration of oral colostrum to preterm infants.